Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back. It's been a little while. I've um, I've been head down, bum up, to be honest, just uh, chipping away at things. So, and there's a lot to do around here at the moment. Um, we've got a I wouldn't say it's a massive property, but there's always something to do. There's a, well, we've got 12 acres, so there's there's always something going on. Um, we're sort of halfway through. Well, actually, more than half. Well, actually, we've pretty much finished the renovation, but we're now on to landscaping and things like that. So. Uh, Things have been a bit of, it's been a bit of multitasking going on. But the reason why you're here is the 67 crew cab. Uh, and I will now just flip over and show you what I've been up to. It is uh, winter, like I said, and there's just been so much wind and uh, rain. I haven't had much of a chance to clean up. The place is a bit of a mess at the moment. I've got, um, yeah, I've got everything going on. So <laughs> excuse all the crap. Um, but the 67, I, um, I've been really slack at filming this where, uh, where it's at now. I've done a lot to it since uh, since the last update on YouTube. I don't even remember what that was, to be fair. Um, but let's just go through what's been happening. Um, I I think actually the last time you guys saw this would have been, I think it was the it was actually the, pardon me, the body coming off the frame. So interior is all painted. It's um, like I would have gone through the you know all original floors. Pretty stoked on that. So. Um, yeah, it's um, such a cool, such a cool rust free truck. Um, so going through, and I've restored the uh, the firewall mat. Um, it wasn't too bad. It needed uh, just needed a few. Uh, I don't know. It actually needed that bottom rubber, which um, I put a new rubber on. Um, I actually just cleaned it up and painted it black, and it actually came out pretty good. So. Um, taken everything out underneath the dash. Uh, I actually didn't take the wiring out completely, but everything else pretty much cleaned everything up. All the heater boxes, cleaned them all out, gave them a good um, uh, once over, gave them a coat of black as well. And I'm just slowly putting the dash together. I'm waiting on the uh, turn signal switch. I have got the, um, I've got the uh, steering column already painted up, ready to go, the honey pot. I'm just waiting on something to come in the mail. Um, I don't know if you remember, but the radio was, uh, someone had actually cut out this whole section here to put a, an aftermarket later model radio in. Um, so I sourced a, a 67, 67 is a one year only for the radio as well, as well as these, these knobs here. So uh, welded that in, came out pretty good. Dash, new dash pad is in, which is cool. Pretty stoked on that. Um, getting some floor, getting a uh, Dennis Carpenter floor uh, for it. So that'll take care of the floor. I've got my seat here that I'm taking to my buddy to get uh, retrimmed. I've got SMS covers for these, original, identical to, to what you see here for... Sorry about that. That was my gate. Let me just deal with that. Okay, where were we? So yes, seats are here, ready to go to my friends who's a, a trimmer. I've got SMS fabrics to cover the uh, the seats. Do you take LSD? How cool is that? That was originally on, that was on the truck and I just noticed it a few months ago when I took the seats out and I was playing with them. So that's pretty crazy. So yeah, the SMS, uh, you know, everyone, everyone probably is aware of the Horrendous reviews from SMS, but I actually got the fabrics uh, or the seat covers um, pretty quickly. I think it was three months, so I was pretty happy with that. Now I live in Australia, so look, you know, I understand there's a lot of people that, um, you know, yeah, take the, they've been waiting years for their for their things. So yeah, new seats will be re well, the seats will be retrimmed in this exact same material. Um, yeah, I've actually got, so firewalls painted. I'm actually keeping the truck as it is in terms of the outside 
um, I guess, patina and weathered look and just as it, as it is. Uh, you can see the tub here, so that's all reconditioned despite what it looks like. Uh, you, you would have seen in an earlier video if you want to go back and check out what I've done with the tub. It, um, it's all been, it's going to be pretty hard to get a good view, but yeah, everything is pretty much uh, bang on with the tub. But obviously the outside is just as it is, so I've got to blend in some colours there. But I'm just leaving the truck um, as it as it pretty much is on the outside. But interior will be reconditioned or I guess semi-restored. The firewall and engine bay will be uh, restored or at least, um, yeah, I guess restored. Um, so that's why I've done the, the firewall. So inner guards, right out of support and engine. Uh, will be all new, painted up, looking looking sweet. I uh, I've started to zinc plate my own bolts. I bought a uh, a zinc plating kit with a buddy of mine. We went halves, and um, so I'm just slowly working my way through uh, all the bracketry and bits and pieces, and it's actually turning out pretty good. So uh, yeah, just getting through all of the little all the little uh, bits and bobs that. Um, you know that uh, that you pull apart when you when you're doing a, a, a I guess a rest. This is the 352 original. I, well, I think it's the original 352 out of the truck. It's all matching sort of 67 ish numbers, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, went through it, did some measurements. Everything seems to be pretty okay. Uh, I'm just going to use the original pistons, new bearings, new rings. Um, I did get the crank ground. It needed a bit of a polish. Um, but uh, yeah, look, all in all, it's pretty good. It's just gonna, I'm just going to keep it stock, two barrel, easy, quick. You know, um, I guess I wouldn't say cheap, but uh, just um, on the cheaper side of versus, you know, full big cam, pistons, stroking, and things like that. So yeah, that'll be that'll be. Uh, I've actually got pretty much everything ready to put back into this thing at the moment. Um, what I've got to do, I've actually, I'm just cleaning everything up, to be honest, cleaning everything up, and then I can start assembly. So that'll be happening soon. I'll do a video on that. Going back to, sorry, I'm chopping and changing here. This is my science experiment. This is the zinc plating kit that I'm uh, playing around with. So it's, um, it's look, it's fiddly, but uh, once you get it set up, it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. The biggest thing is uh, cleaning, cleaning, like, like anything, preparation, cleaning the, cleaning the, the parts that you're putting in the, in the bath. So, uh, you know, highly recommend doing it if you're doing a, a resto and you've got a little, little bolt, a lot of little bolts and brackets and bits and pieces. This is my uh, shelf where all of my, um, all, all, of, all of the bits that need attention uh, are sitting. So um, whether it's, you know, I've got new bits and there, there's valves and springs and everything like that, all the nuts and bolts and couple of uh, four-wheel drive high boy oil pans that I've got to choose from. I'll throw one of those on soon. Um, new bits and pieces. So yeah, these are all, uh, this is where I sort of come to, to to look at what to do next. There's plenty to do. Um, so what else is happening? The chassis. Uh, it's actually, so this is actually really close to be putting back onto the chassis, onto the frame. So um, I've got to, Probably, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang the doors. I'll probably hang the doors once it's on the frame. Um, still gotta do a little bit of, you can see here, a little bit of blending in with paint, a little bit of touching up. Um, probably finish off that dash. Once I get that wiring, sorry, the turn signal switch in, I will then just clean up all the wiring uh, underneath the dash, make sure everything's all spick and span, and then I'll throw the column in uh, and that'll be pretty much right to be put onto the frame. So I'm pretty stoked on getting that on. I reckon that'll be cool. Uh, the other thing I'm working on right now is just going through all of my uh, body mounts and making sure I've got them all and they're all good. Some of them are rusted, so I have to do some repairs, paint them black, put them back sort of thing. They're all ready to go. Uh, well, that's actually the steel part of it, the metal part. Um, here's the frame. So this one is 
ready and waiting. I'm actually pretty, uh, I, I love the look of a, of a raw frame, especially a four wheel drive. I think, I think that looks so shit hot. Um, so yeah, this is waiting to go onto, uh, onto well, underneath I should say, underneath the, uh, the truck. Uh, just sorting out, like I said before, sorting out all the rubbers, body, body, body mounts, where they go. Um, and yeah, getting, getting that done. Uh, got my handbrake, uh, again, another little zinc plated part that I did here, which is pretty cool. So I, um, yeah, they're all, those cables are, all, are pretty much restored. They're all connected into the back of the drums. Um, that's ready to go essentially. So I've just got to then hook that up because it's a 67. It actually does have a different, um, different handbrake uh, mechanism into the cab. Um, so yeah, that's, oh, the other thing I've been doing is, oh, I've got the, got the 916s fitted. They're all uh, on the rims. So uh, they came in oh, just the other day, actually. So I got them changed over. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, the other thing that I've done is, yeah, the wiring. I've just gone through all the wiring uh, and just placed this into the chassis for the moment until, uh, until I get the clips. I've ordered the clips, the special, actually, original OEM clips for, to mount this onto the chassis. They're coming in from the States. Uh, so, yeah, once I get that in... Once I, get, once I get those clips in, I can I can mount that that wiring. Um, but I guess that doesn't need to be done before the body goes on. It's super super dusty. I actually had a tarp on it, but this is actually my work area. It's actually like a working workshop. I do a lot of uh, fabrication, so it does get dusty in here, unfortunately. But um, I, I'm going to roll it out, give it a good wash before the body goes on, and. Um, yeah, just make sure it's all nice and clean. Um, what else? I think that's about it, really. Uh, yeah. Um, mounts, body on. Yeah, everything's... Look, look, there's a lot of things happening at once. You see all the old rings just sitting here that I've pulled off the pistons. Yeah, I need to, I need to do a major clean-up. Um, got my crank. Oh, here we go. Cranks sitting there waiting, coming back, coming back, came back from the um, machine shop. Heads back from the machine shop, ready to go. Old um, body mounts. Got my uh, Rock Auto parts here, ready to build that engine back into a into a short block. Uh, can't really tell you much more. Yeah, um, da, 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 that's about it, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. Steering box. I have actually rebuilt the steering box, rebuilt, refurbished, repainted. That is uh, sitting and waiting. So that's actually uh, um, uh, there. My rock. That's the rocker assembly. Here we go. That's the steering box ready to go in. Power steering unit. It's actually no, it's actually a 67 unit, believe it or not, which is pretty cool. So um, I will whack that together. Wait until that column goes on first, and then I will put the body on. Then I've got the intermediate shaft. So that's all restored, ready to go. That will go on um, once the body's on. I reckon that's gonna be a video because um, there are all the major things happening in the shop at the moment. You can see my little, uh, the old the old red truck, she's been copying a workout, getting a lot of wood, chopping a lot of wood, doing my daily chores around the, around the farm and things like that. Uh, here's my rack for all my zinc plating nuts and bolts. Um, the old golden child sitting in there waiting patiently. I haven't taken her out just because the weather's been so crap. So um, that'll come out hopefully. How much dust's on it? Oh man, awful. Anyway, all right, cool. Hope you're well. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys. Take care.